Man United send workers up to the top of Old Trafford as they look to make urgent repairs less than 24 hours after heavy rain cascaded through the roof during their defeat by Arsenal. Urgent repairs to fix Old Trafford's decrepit roof are underway. Less than 24 hours after heavy rain cascaded through one of the stands during Manchester United's defeat by Arsenal on Sunday. Workers in hard hats and high-vis jackets were snapped abseiling up and down the side of the iconic stadium on Monday morning as they assessed the damage up on the roof. The urgent works will follow what was a disappointing defeat for United, who sank to a 1-0 defeat at the hands of Arsenal, who kept up their title challenge on reigning champions Manchester City. However, United claimed the workers were carrying out previously scheduled maintenance on Old Trafford and was nothing to do with the rain. During the closing stages of the game, a fierce thunderstorm swamped the 114-year-old stadium, where water could be seen cascading from one corners of the ground, while videos on social media showed a flood pouring under seats and even where the players' tunnel meets the dressing rooms. United said that 1.6 inches of rain fell in two hours after the final whistle, more than in the entire month of May last year but supporters of both clubs left the stadium safely. Another embarrassing clip showed rain leaking into the away dressing room at Old Trafford after the game. The deluge coincided with a visit from Labour Party leader and Arsenal season ticket fan Sir Keir Starmer as a guest of Mayor of Greater Manchester Andy Burnham, who met with Lord Coe and United's minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe beforehand to discuss the future of Old Trafford. Co is head of the task force driving plans to regenerate the stadium and surrounding areas. United are backing Ratcliffe's vision to bulldoze Old Trafford and build a Wembley of the North at a cost of up to two billion but will consider renovating the existing stadium if it is not feasible. Ratcliffe pledged 237 million to upgrade Old Trafford as part of his 1.3 BN investment in United but Sunday's flood was a reminder that plenty more will be needed to plug the gaps. While rival fans delight in singing that Old Trafford is falling down, United supporters point to the wretched state of the stadium as a symbol of neglect by the Glazer family during 19 years in power. Absolutely embarrassing, sums up the neglect the Glazers have shown towards the upkeep and maintenance of Old Trafford and Carrington, one fan wrote on X, formerly Twitter. It isn't the first time the roof at Old Trafford has suffered a major leak. Numerous times over the years, the roof of the stadium has struggled to keep supporters dry, which has led to Ratcliffe making it one of his main focuses in regenerating the club. It has also become a major issue and a stick to beat the Glazer family with, having been accused of a lack of funding over the years. The question of what United can do to solve their stadium crisis was discussed on Mail Sports' It's All Kicking Off podcast on Monday, with co-host Ian Ladyman suggesting the club could look to move to London while they carry out a major overhaul. I think they should tear Old Trafford down, play at Wembley for two years, build a new one, he said. There are other people who think that can never happen, and they need to rebuild it and modernize it again and again. Manchester United host Newcastle in a mammoth Premier League battle for a European spot. The Red Devils have had a league campaign to forget, breaking all sorts of unwanted records such as most goals conceded since 1970-71. And Eric Ten Hag's side hit another bump in the road last Sunday, having lost to bitter rivals Arsenal courtesy of a first-half Leandro Trossard strike. However, Newcastle haven't exactly been firing on all cylinders, and their 1-1 draw with Brighton last weekend was another example of this. So with all that being said, it is set up to be an unpredictable match, and Sunsport can provide fans with all the information around the encounter below. Manchester United and Newcastle lock horns in a mouth-watering Premier League encounter on Wednesday, May 15th. It is scheduled to kick off at 8 p.m. BST. Old Trafford is the allocated arena for this huge match, and it can host approximately 74,000 fans. Anthony Gordon's strike helped the Magpies secure a one-sill victory in the reverse fixture. What TV channel is it on, and can it be live-streamed? 
Manchester United vs. Newcastle will be broadcast live on Sky Sports Main Event and Sky Sports Premier League in the UK. Coverage is expected to commence from 7.30 p.m. BST on both channels, 30 mins before kickoff. Fans can stream the action on Now TV through any tablet device or mobile. Alternatively, Sunsport will have minute-by-minute -minute action of the whole match. What is the team news? Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag will be hoping several key stars will return who missed out on the 1-0 defeat to Arsenal. Mason Mount, Muscle, Bruno Fernandes, Unknown, Marcus Rashford, Muscle, Harry Maguire, Muscle, Victor Lindelof, Hamstring, Luke Shaw, Muscle, Lisandro Martinez, Calf, Tyrrell Malaysia, Knee, Anthony Marshall, Groin, and Rafael Varane, Unknown, were all unavailable, while Ahmad Diallo was forced off early with a knee issue. Newcastle manager Eddie Howe has also been struck with a lengthy list of injuries. Callum Wilson, thigh, Fabian Schar, hamstring, Lewis Miley, back, Joe Willock, ankle, Jamal Lascelles, cruciate ligament, Matt Target, Achilles, Sven Botman, knee, are all likely to miss the trip to Old Trafford. And Sandro Tonali continues to serve his suspension for breaching betting rules. Meanwhile, Manchester United suffered defeat at home to Arsenal in the Premier League on Sunday, as a nightmare campaign under Eric Ten Hag drifts towards a disappointing end. Manchester United suffered a club record extending 14th Premier League defeat of the season on Sunday. A 1 0 defeat against Arsenal at Old Trafford leaves Eric Ten Hag's side in eighth with their hopes of qualifying for Europe looking increasingly unlikely through the league. United could still secure a place in next season's Europa League if they beat Manchester City in the FA Cup final on May 25. But victory over Pep Guardiola's team at Wembley Stadium would be a huge shock, and amid pressure on Ten Hag, there is a general feeling of drift at OID Trafford. United are next in action against Newcastle on Wednesday, where defeat would all but seal their lowest ever finish in the Premier League. Below is a look at some of the key points from Sunday's defeat against the Gunners. Fan message sent the Old Trafford faithful were singling for at least 10 minutes straight during the second period, despite seeing their struggling side huff and puff against superior opposition. It is a testament to the United fan base that the support is still strong during a difficult season. However, it may also be a clear sign of the apathy supporters have towards their team's results, and that should be a clear sign to the owners that huge change is needed. United versus Arsenal should be one of the most important fixtures of any season, but for on Sunday it felt like a meaningless end-of-season game. Hoyland struggles. The Danish striker has had a mixed campaign at Old Trafford due to injuries and a lack of goal-scoring output. But no one can fault his effort and the 21-year-old has often been the victim of a lack of service.